the history of art in general is the history of public art. You, you think of the pyramids, you think of the uh, cathedrals. That art was public art. The idea that private art is actually an exception in the history of art. For most of history, being out in public meant seeing public art. Artists worked with architects to create beautiful civic spaces. In America, this approach flourished during the period known as the American Renaissance from about 1890 to 1920. Actually, a great example is the Essex County Courthouse in Newark, which was just recently restored. And it includes nine marble pediment sculptures um, that are allegorical sort of story narratives that talk about justice and the law. Um, that courthouse also incorporates two freestanding bronze pieces right out in front of the building. And then Borglum's seated Lincoln is a little bit further out in a park space in front of the building. In the 1930s, President Roosevelt's Works Progress Administration, the WPA, commissioned murals for post offices and other public artworks, such as this fountain by Wayland Gregory. It's the only WPA sculpture in New Jersey. These artworks are treasured now, important to our understanding of the 1930s, but not much public art was made in the decades that followed. What happens in America after the Second World War, beginning before, is that people really, a lot of people gave up on public space. The, the move in, the, in America was away out of the public space of the city into the suburbs. There was a shift in style as well to the unadorned international look. Public space became utilitarian and not always so pretty. And then public art was interjected in a way to try to revive an idea of what public space could be. Making the art integral, sometimes even central to the site, means that an artist has to work with architects, electricians, engineers, and go to lots of meetings. Clyde Linz is an artist very familiar with that process. One of his most ambitious public artworks is an entire square centered around a grand fountain at the Capitol Plaza in Trenton. I didn't think just plunking, it down, plunking down a sculpture was a good enough idea for that plaza because it's the last open space near the Capitol. It was a very important space and I felt that uh, something more needed to be done there. I felt that it needed something broader and larger and more impressive 